everyone's talking about voice AI, voice assistance, AI voice calling can replace me. Voice AI technology that is really just getting started. There are going to be billions, billions of different voice. AI agents. They are a very important part of bringing this course to where voice agents, voice API, voice API, voice assistant, voice API. Hey everyone, you're here with Dr. Full Stack. So today we're gonna go ahead and work with a voice AI agent utilizing LifeKit. And we're also going to deploy it in just a few steps. Now I love running these tutorials because I feel like right now is the AI renaissance. So if you're trying to get a lot of customers, one of the most popular ways to get customers right now is with telephony solutions or voice AI solutions that automate business processes in general. So let's get started. Over here, we've got a simple example of a voice AI assistant that I've built for a mobile application. We also have our live kit set up here, fine and dandy. So what we're gonna do is get that live kit instance started locally, and then I'll show you how to get that to production. So we'll say node dist agent.js space dev. Awesome. So now that I've got that started, let's go ahead and begin the session. So the first thing you want to do in order to deploy this successfully to production is push this to GitHub. So I'll say git add dot git commit dash m. This is my voice AI agent with a Docker file. And if you guys want me to do a video specifically on the Docker file, let me know in the comments and I'll do so. So here, I've now pushed up my code to production. So, so this application here will allow us to deploy all of our voice AI agents to production. So let's go ahead and do so. I do wanna make sure that I am adding the correct uh, GitHub. I never <laughs> did get push, that's funny. First thing we need to do is build that Docker image. And I don't feel like installing Docker locally in my computer. So I'm just gonna do so here in a matter of minutes. If I click new image and I select the repository, which is here, I'll specify the Docker file. I've already selected my GitHub repo. I've also entered a Docker file, which means that it's in my root folder. And then I've entered whatever image name I wanted, in this case, I put live kit back and AI quiz voice assistant. That's a mouthful, but I want to be very specific with this Docker image. And then I've selected the build type. So in this case, this is the back end agent that I'm deploying. You could deploy a front end agent, but that's just the front end. Um, right now, we want the meat and potatoes, which is the back end. So at this point, we'll go ahead and hit the start build button. Awesome. So we've gotten our build ID. We're seeing those logs occur in real time. And the process normally takes about two minutes maximum. Um, one thing that I will note is that if you want this site here, it's oneclickdeploy.co. And that allows me to pretty much build my voice AI agents, not have to install Docker desktop locally, set up the Docker Damien and all this DevOps that I'd rather not do. Essentially, I just build my voice AI agent, push it to GitHub. Once it's on GitHub, I sign in here. It's free to sign up if you have a GitHub account. And then I reference the GitHub repo that has the LiveKit voice AI agent. Now, this doesn't only work with LiveKit, it works with a bunch of other fighters. In this case, I'm utilizing LiveKit because I love the quality of the voice AI agents I'm able to build. And additionally, it's usually more of on the heavy side when it comes to deploying that to production. So all that to say that there are other platforms that can deploy voice AI agents for you, such as render.com and a few others, but they're not going to build your Docker image. You're gonna to have to still build your Docker image and push it to some repository like Docker Hub or some other Docker artifact repository. This one-click deploy platform is actually one of the only ones that builds your Docker image for you. 
and allow you to, to deploy it to production. So to be able to do all that in one place and pretty easily is um, a dream come true. Awesome. So we're completely done with building the image at this point. Now, in order to deploy this to production, as the name implies, one click deploy, we're just gonna click one button. And at this point, we are in fact deploying our voice AI agent to production. So once you've gotten to this step, congratulations. All we have to do now is go and test our voice AI agent. In this case, I have a mobile application. And if that voice AI agent talks back to you, then you've successfully deployed your voice AI agent and now you're ready to sell to customers. Okay, so as we mentioned, we need to head over to the voice AI agent that we have on the front end to make sure that this is still working. So I'll go ahead and refresh this. Now, just to ensure that nothing is running here locally, I'll hit clear and I'll go ahead and trash the start button there. We should be able to hear the agent. So as you can see, our voice AI agent is working. If you want to stick around, let's go take the quiz together. So I hit the play button. All right. So what does the idiom go the extra mile imply in a customer relationship? Well, that one's pretty easy. That means I'm going to exceed the customer's expectations. Sweet. Got that one correct. In a business context, what does hit the ground running mean? Well, I think that means to begin with full speed and efficiency. So I'm going to click this one. What does the phrase move the goalpost signify in a negotiation? So that means to actually um, change the terms or requirements unfairly. I like that one. Sweet. What does on the same page mean when collaborating with the team? Well, I think here team members agree on goals and understanding. I think that one seems the most realistic. Awesome. So I got four out of four. So there we have a voice AI agent that's creating quizzes. Now you may think, all right, well, why do I want to take a quiz? Well, maybe you want to do sales trainings. Maybe you want to do uh, preparation before interviews. There's a variety of different use cases here. And I'm just showing you the power of voice AI assistance. You don't have to do this manually anymore. And your voice AI is going to be as good as the content you give. Okay. What does the idiom strike the iron while it's hot mean in a business context? Well, here, it seems that I think it's this one or this one. I'm going to choose A. Sweet. What does the phrase thinking outside the box encourage in a business setting? Well, this one refers to creativity and innovative solutions. What is the meaning of the idiom, the ball is in your court within a business negotiation? Well, it means that you are in control of the situation. Wow, I actually got that one wrong. <laughs> it's crazy. Um, so I'll go back to that one, but that's funny. Um, how does the idiom burning the midnight oil apply to business professionals? Well, that one's got to be working late to meet deadlines. Sweet. And lastly, what does the expression touch base mean in a business context? Well, here it means for, yeah, I think to contact someone for an update. Awesome. So there, I got four out of five, and I'm curious as to what I got wrong. So let me see why I got that one wrong there. Okay, so you need to make the next move. Okay, so I went a little too fast there and chose C, but it was actually A, and that makes sense. Now, I love that we have the game mode for the quiz, but then we also have the ability to actually see the answer choices so that if you want to 
take this information and apply it somewhere else. It's easy as we're going to be billions of different AI agents. They are a very important part of bringing this forward. It's the way of voice agents. Voice API. Voice API. Voice assistant. Voice API.